Whoa, easy boy. <sighs> Listen to him. Don't dogs have any dignity? I've got a surprise for you guys. A surprise? Ooh, what sort of surprise? I want a surprise. Meow, 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 meow. The things I wouldn't do for a present. It better be worth it. I thought both of you could do with a little grooming before your monthly checkup with Liz. I humiliated myself for a grooming tool? Who wants to try it first? Garfield? You try it. No one touches this verb in my hairdresser. Odie! Good boy. Come over here. Uh, hang on, Odie. Oh, hi, Liz. Lunch tomorrow? Sure, I'd love to. Odi, Odi, Yahoo. Odi. I'm bored. All that fuss over a mere brush? See you. Whoa! You are a sad, strange little dog, Odie. Hey, Odie, want to play kick the dog with me? What do you mean you'd rather spend time with her? It's just a stupid brush. This is a new low, even for you, Odie. Hey, if you break up with the brush, I've got some nice nail clippers for you. <laughs> hey guys, what's up? <sighs> Do me a favor and drop that stupid breast before they see you. I refuse to be the laughing stock of the entire neighborhood. Hi, Garfield. Hi, Odie. Hey, Odie. Is that a brush you're holding? <laughs> More like an imaginary girlfriend. Look who's talking. Remind me why you always carry that teddy bear of yours everywhere. Uh, I, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Oh, that is just so cute. I have got to do something about that brush. <laughs> yahoo, yahoo. house. An imaginary and nut, you're out. <laughs> Dogs have the attention span of a goldfish. Give it an hour and he won't remember that brush. Trust me. Ah, shoot, I'm late. Liz is gonna kill me! Oh! Odie? Odie, what 
on earth are you doing? <coughs> Odie, stop it! Bad dog! Bad dog! <laughs> Uh, Liz? <laughs> of course I didn't forget our brunch. <laughs> yep, I'm on my way. <laughs> hey, you don't happen to know a good gardener, do you? All that fuss for a stupid brush? This is ridiculous. And you don't have anything to do with the brush's disappearance, do you? How could you think so badly of me? <sighs> okay, I did it. I got rid of that stupid brush. And I was doing Odie a favor, if you ask me. Oh, please, save it for the jury. You did it because you were jealous Odie cared about someone else. Someone else? We're talking about a brush, aren't we? For Odie, it was much more than just a brush, and you knew that, too. Nah, he'll get over it. We're gonna need more coffee. How about earplugs? Uh, not funny. Where's my breakfast lasagna? <sighs> Sorry, Garfield. I feel way too tired to cook you anything. Okay, sleep deprivation I can actually deal with. But lasagna deprivation? That is just flat out intolerable. I gotta fix this mess. Uh, I'm sorry, man. It has bristles and a handle. Perfect. Odie will never know the difference. Oh my! Odie, look who's back. Well, that dog isn't brain dead after all. Who would have thought? Okay, fine. You won. I'll take you to your girlfriend. This is where the cruel deed was done. Whoopsie doopsie. Odie, wait! I'm gonna, I'm gonna lose one of my nine lives, just for a stupid brush. <laughs> Sorry, kid, this is an emergency. Hey! I'll bring it back, I promise. Welcome aboard and fasten your seatbelt. We're in for one bumpy ride. Be just another greasy spot on Main Street. <laughs> that was close. <laughs> Ugh, barf. <gasps> Hody, Hody, come back! Bad dog, bad! It can't get any worse, can it? Watch out! Do you 
to be recycled. <laughs> Get out of here. <clears throat> there you are. I've been looking for you all over. Ew, gross. You two smell as if you just crawled out of a garbage disposal. <laughs> I can't smell a thing. What about you, Odie? Odie? This evening? <laughs> How about dinner? to invent a remote control for vacuums will be adored and venerated by all of cat kind. I know it's early, Garfield, but Liz's parents are coming over soon and everything needs to be perfect. Oh, I can't greet them like this. What kind of a first impression would that make? Hmm. Oh. An honest one? I know Liz's parents will be watching me like a hawk and analyzing my every move. John, I think a walrus threw up on your shirt. <laughs> oh. Odie, well-bred dogs don't beg. You can't... Odie, I just got through mopping that floor. <sighs> I'll deal with it later. Now, where is that expensive caviar I bought? Mm. Ah! Mm. All right, listen to me, you two. <laughs> My future with Liz is at stake. When her parents get here, I expect you both to be on your best behavior. And to make sure that happens, there's a little reward in store for you. Whichever one of you two makes the most effort to make a good impression will get a special treat. <laughs> Odie, go fetch the grooming brush. I'm going to give you two a little makeover before our guests arrive. Oh, no way. I'd rather cough up a giant hairball than share a brush with that mangy flea bag. I'll do my own grooming, thank you. Have it your way, Garfield. But Odie just scored a point in the effort category. Good boy, Odie. Good boy. What a suck up. I think I'll uh, fit in a little beauty sleep before the guests arrive. My suit! Get your filthy paws off me! Oh. Down, boy! I said get down! What in the world is going on out here? 
I'll tell you what, that maniac dog of yours pounced on us. You should have him on a leash if he can't behave. Odie, bad boy. I am so sorry about that. Please, please, come in. and We'll get all of you cleaned up inside. That goes for you too, Odie. <laughs> Hi, John. Nice shirt. Minus one for Odie. That reward is mine. He doesn't usually jump on guests like that. He, uh, he must have been really excited to meet you. Speaking of which, you haven't been properly introduced. Mom, Dad, this is John. John, these are my parents. Hi, I'm Mrs. Wilson, but you can call me Daddy. And I'm Mr. Wilson. Ha <laughs> ha. Um, <laughs> nice to meet you. <clears throat> I, uh, I believe you're already well acquainted with my dog, Odie. <laughs> and that's Garfield, my cat. My, that's a fat cat. Liz, dear, you really should put that cat on a diet. Oh, it's a pleasure meeting you, too. You've got a nice place here, John. But I must say, this house needs a woman's touch. I don't know about the house, but John certainly does. That being said, an extra hand in the kitchen wouldn't hurt. So, John. Liz tells us you're a cartoonist. That's right. I, uh... Personally, I've always been for solid, respectable careers. None of that fancy schmancy stuff. I'm a tax auditor myself. That would have been my second guess after Undertaker. Bad boy, Odie! <laughs> He's usually very well behaved. Minus two for Odie. Reward, come to Papa. Raising pets is like raising children. It requires a great deal of discipline. Do you plan on having children one day, John? Dad! Speaking of children, I haven't introduced you to my son yet, John. Your son? Uh, Liz didn't mention she had a brother. John, this is Petey, my pride and joy. <laughs> I raised and nurtured him ever since he was a baby. I can trust your pets with him, can't I? Uh, oh, sure. Uh, no problem. <laughs> because if any harm came to him, I, I, I just don't know what I'd do. But it breaks my heart to keep him cooped up in a cage. So she coops us up instead. She spends her time closing windows. And you spend it opening them. He's always saying it's stuffy. Isn't he the smartest, cutest little thing? <laughs> he's the son I never had. I would have said plump and juicy, and he's going to be the hors d'oeuvres I'm going to have. My guess. Try it. See what happens. It'll be the most fun I've had in ages. Trust me. Hey, I went to a lot of trouble chasing you, so humor me. Fight, struggle, beg, plead. Oh, please, Mr. Cat, don't eat me. There is that exciting enough for you? Oh, uh, you're gonna have to do better than that. Garfield? <laughs> I'm warning you, Garfield. If I catch you with that bird again, you can forget the reward. And no TV for a no, month. Stop. I wouldn't gloat if I were you. I may be minus one, but you're minus two. Ah, forget that insipid sack of feathers. It's like trying to get an adrenaline rush from a slice of plain white bread. Animate pre-slice cold cuts are a hundred times more exciting. Please, please, <gasps> please, Mr. Cat, eat me. Come on. I know you want to. Just do it, please. Hey, you're supposed to beg me not to eat you, Dodo. But I must admit, you're slightly more tempting in sandwich form. What's taking so long? Hurry up! Well, if you insist. <laughs> 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 
Petey? Oh, look. We're all out of hors d'oeuvres. Why don't I go into the kitchen and get us some more, huh? Oh, I see you've made yourself a nice... <laughs> Canary sandwich! I'll give you one last warning, Garfield. If anything happens to that bird, I'll put you on a diet of bread and water for life. Oh. <sighs> I need to get as far away as possible from that psycho bird. Petey. Petey, where are you? Come to Mama. It's not like him. He never leaves my side for long. Don't worry, Mom. He couldn't have gone far. Yeah. It's not like this house is a mansion. Uh, maybe he went upstairs. We can go have a look if you want. Oh. Ah, perfect. That should keep me out of trouble until the guests leave. Listen, it's a cruel, cold world out there, full of mean, hungry cats, not pushovers like me. I'll take my chances. You'll have to fend for yourself. And, and, and when you're sick, no one will make chicken soup for you. Birds don't eat chicken soup. Ah, right, okay. Well, what about Daddy? She'll be devastated. She raised and nurtured you. Smothered me, you mean? I've been wanting to break free from day one. And thanks to you, I finally did. I'm free as a bird. Farewell, Garfield. Oh, no, no, oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> Maybe it's for the best, Mom. How many times have you brought him into the clinic because he banged into a closet window, huh? He'll be happier out there. I'll be honest with you, Arbuckle. I didn't like you the minute I saw you, after what your cat just did. I know, it's unforgivable. It's... it's... It's a miracle! A darn bird was the bane of my existence! Heck, I've been trying to get rid of him for ages. And thanks to that cat of yours, he's gone for good! From now on, John, you're part of the family. Wow, I... I don't know what to say. Thank you, Mr... Uh... Bob? Mr. Wilson. Don't push your luck. <laughs> Garfield? Oh, I might as well get it over with. It's time to face my fate with dignity. Bag. Oh, merciful, merciful John. Take pity on me. Oh, please. Garfield, where have you been all afternoon? Your reward is getting cold. My reward? Ta-da! <laughs> you earned it, Garfield. Thanks to you, I'm on Mr. Wilson's good side now. As it turns out, Liz's father couldn't stand that canary, and you did him a huge favor by letting him escape. Oh, Mr. Wilson, a man after my own heart. while I'm away. Don't eat all the ribs while I'm away. Huh. Did he really think I'd eat all the ribs while he was away? 
Ah, what should I do now? I think I'll eat all the ribs while he's away. Mmm, -hmm. I'm good. Oh, it's you. You hungry, Papa? Yeah. Fine, I'll give you the part I can't eat. That's the best thing about dogs. They're happy with stuff that no one else would want to eat. Oh. A bone. A juicy, delicious bone. Hey, Ori, look at that mockingbird. He's mocking you. Huh? Another bone? How could you have finished the first one? No, I'm not giving you another bone. If you want a bone, go dig up one of yours that you've buried out in the garden over the years. The best part of eating ribs? Mm, licking your paws. So you found a big bone. Big deal, don't bother me. So it's the biggest bone you ever saw? Don't, I repeat, bother me. Oh, all right, all right, I'll look at it. Oh, if it only had meat on it. Buddy, you know what this is? But not just any big bone. Come on. That's a dinosaur bone. Those are worth a lot of money. This is the website for the town's natural history museum. Watch. Here at the museum, we are especially proud of our dinosaur skeletons. Recently, we located this one. It's a Tyrannosaurus rex from the Cretaceous period. This skeleton is valued at more than a quarter of a million dollars. A quarter of a million dollars? Hootie, I'm rich. Do you know how much lasagna you can buy for a quarter of a million dollars? Enough to feed me. I'm gonna take that bone down to the museum and find that lady. You go dig up the rest of the skeleton. We found this skeleton in someone's backyard on the west side of town. We had to get a court order to have the people who live there evicted and their home torn down, but we did it all in the name of science. Odie, get back to work. Have that skeleton dug up by the time I get back. <laughs> Barontosaurus, also known as Apatosaurus, lived 150 million years ago and weighed a minimum of 23 metric tons. 23 metric tons? That's more than I weigh after a good Italian dinner. Okay, I gotta find that lady who'll pay me a fortune for the bones that he's digging up. Oh. <laughs> Eek! 
Cat, you're in a lot of trouble. Uh, and first, you put that bone down. That's museum property. Oh, no, 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 no. I brought this bone with me. It's going to make me rich. Oh no, I'm trapped. There's no way out of here. Okay, I've got him quartered in the Tyrannosaurus Rex exhibit. He can't possibly get away. <laughs> Congratulations, you're now an exhibit. The first security guard to be swallowed by a Tyrannosaurus. Ah! ah help! Ah! Myron, a cat stole a bone and is heading down corridor 11 with it. Where's that lady who pays the big bucks for dino bones? Sorry, cat. Our dinosaur bones are not to-go orders. But I brought this one with me. Odie found it in the garden. Hey, uh, I recognize you. You live with that Arbuckle guy on my block. What seems to be the trouble, Myron? No trouble, Mrs. Brewbaker. This cat tried to steal this dinosaur bone. I don't recognize this bone from any of our exhibits. It's... it's from a Brachiosaurus. A Brachiosaurus? This is one of the rarest dinosaurs in the world. We don't have one in our collection. Cat, did you find this where you live? I'll take the money in small bills, uh, mostly hundreds. We must have an immediate excavation to find every possible bone on the property. We'll get a court order to tear down any buildings or dwellings. Tear down? You mean, you just tear down this Arbuckle guy's home? Science is more important than anyone's individual life. Our house? I won't let you. The cat's getting away. Levin, you seem to know where the property is. Let's go. Myron? Myron, can you hear me? Somebody come and get me out of this. Somebody? Anybody? I have to get rid of those bones or they'll tear down our house. You dug up an entire dinosaur. Uh -huh. You did as I asked, boy, and that's great. There's just one more thing I want you to do for me. <sighs> Bury them all again. No! No, there's no time. This is awful. I should have given you that second rib bone you asked for instead of sending you out to dig here. <laughs> what do you mean you never got to even enjoy the first one? I gave it to you. What? Hercules stole it? That little sawed off chihuahua down the block? Uh -huh. This could work out just fine. Oh, yes. Hey, what's haps there, Hercules? If you come to take the bone back, I'm not giving it to you. I stole it fair and squares. Oh, no, you can keep it. Audie doesn't bother with those tiny bones anymore. This is not a tiny bone. It is a good-sized bone. Oh, you think so, huh? Come on. Take a look at the kind of bone Odie's been digging up at our place. Oh! <laughs> you can keep any of those tiny bones you come across. Who needs them? Well, I have to take Odie for a walk, so I hope nobody steals his new bones while we're gone. <gasps> can it be? It's true. It's true! The largest, most beautiful bones I've ever seen! I don't care how many trips I have to make, these bones will be all mine! 
<laughs> hold on, hold on. I just got home this minute. What is it you want to do? It's what we are going to do. We're having your home declared a site of vital scientific interest. We're going to tear down the whole house and dig for dinosaur bones. Dinosaur bones? There are no dinosaur bones here. There are. Your cat had one. Want to see where the dinosaur bones are? You want us to follow you, cat? <laughs> there are your dino bones, lady. My word! Those are Brachiosaurus bones. Forget about Mr. Arbuckle's property. Let's tear this house down and dig. I don't know how you do it, Garfield. I don't know how I do it either. Come on, boy. Let's get home and see if there are any ribs left. You can have the bone, and I'll take all the meat stuff they stick on the outside. <laughs> An unspeakable horror could be walking right through that door any second. Whoa! Hey, look what I have. An accordion! <gasps> an accordion? While I was visiting my folks, I found this up in the attic. My old accordion! Please don't tell me you're gonna see if you can still play it. And I thought I'd see if I could still play it. <sighs> I'm doomed. Maybe I can still make a break for the door. I'll hide out in another state. No, another continent. Another planet. Another galaxy. I heard the accordion. good in my day. <laughs> what day was that? Because it's certainly not today. <laughs> I wonder what would be a good place to practice. How about Ecuador? It's lovely this time of year. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. I wonder if it bothered Squeak as much as it bothered me. Yep, he looks pretty bothered. Make it stop, Garfield. Make it stop. I wish I could. Researchers have discovered that the accordion is the second most hated musical instrument in the world. Second? What? You never heard of bagpipes? All right. It sounds like John's practicing, if you can call that practicing, in the den of all places. Why do people play that thing? Beats me. You gotta be totally without brains to like an accordion. <laughs> Your Honor, there's my proof. Garfield, what are we gonna do? Wait, I have an idea. Oh, 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 Odie, this is great! I'm gonna practice and practice until I get real good at this. Huh? Hey, accordion boy, you have a mouse in your house. What are you gonna do about it? Nah. A mouse! There's a mouse in the house again. It's the same one as always. Get him, Odie! Catch that mouse! Ha <laughs> ha! 
<laughs> My timing is perfect. In you go. So much for the accordion. This is our last stop before lunch, Percy. Where do you want to go? Uh, anywhere. Ah, uh, the fragrant scent of garbage always makes me hungry. Like someone threw away a perfectly good accordion. Just throw it on the truck. I used to play one of these. I gave it up because hauling trash seemed uh, like a more respectable job. Oh, no. You're not bringing that thing aboard my garbage truck. That mouse that got away, he looked a lot like the mouse Garfield got rid of last week. And the one he got rid of the week before that, and the one he got rid of... I left it right here, and it's gone! Huh? <gasps> oh, where could it have disappeared to? Yes? I believe this is yours. Don't throw that thing away again. We're not allowed to accept hazardous materials. I don't understand this for a minute. Hear that squeak? I don't hear anything. Yes, and isn't it beautiful? I think I'll go take a nap. Oh, after that run, I could use one too. <sighs> oh boy, this is gonna feel so good. No more accordion. I'll serenade you to sleep, Garfield. <laughs> <laughs> Garfield! Are you all right? Garfield! Oh, what am I gonna do? Maybe I should call the paramedics or a vet! Wait! They say music has healing powers. I'll play him a tune on the accordion. <laughs> I'm in enough pain. That's better. But you probably still need first aid. I'll go get the kit. I have to get this, this, this thing out of here. I'll find some place for it where it'll never be seen again. Where did Garfield go? And where is my accordion? I have to find Garfield and I have to find my accordion. <laughs> Maybe I could ship it to some foreign country. Oh no, that's how wars get started. <gasps> I know what I'll do with it. Farewell forever, accordion. My conscience says it's wrong, but my ears are saying, Shut up. You don't have to listen to that contraption. Hey, Cap. What? Didn't you read the sign? Warning. Illegal to dump toxic waste, dangerous chemicals, radioactive isotopes, poisonous substances, and especially accordions. You want to make the fish sick? I see your point. I'll find someplace else to get rid of it. The trick to getting rid of something is making it look like it's something you want. Oh, look at the lovely, valuable present I got. Now to go home and enjoy the sound of no accordion music. Ah! Listen, Cap, I'm desperate. I haven't eaten in two weeks, but there are some things even I won't take. In you go. Never see 
that instrument of evil again. <laughs> First, my accordion disappears, okay. and now Odie hasn't been around for hours. I wonder what he's doing, where he is. <laughs> no, I couldn't be. <laughs> it's just a bad dream, that's all. I just gotta get some more sleep. That's it! That's the voice of John's accordion. I know it anywhere. It's coming for me. It's saying you tried to do away with me. No? Huh? There's nothing in there? It's just my imagination. I'll see for myself, and then I'll be able to go back to sleep. It's coming for me. No, no, I buried you. I know I did. What's that? Hody, it's you. Get her. And Garfield. It was the accordion that did this. It attacked me. Oh. Come on, Garfield. We'd better get you to the vet. Cheer up. I heard the vet say you'll be all right in a couple of weeks. That's not why I'm depressed. I'm depressed because John got his accordion back. I am so doomed. Relax, Goff. I also heard John say that it won't play anymore. Something about it being full of dirt or something. Really? Well, <laughs> that's the best news I've heard. Garfield, I have to apologize. I was going to entertain you with a little accordion solo, but my accordion seems to have breathed its last. I hope so. I gave it a decent burial. And when I went shopping for a new one, they were way too expensive. I guess I'll just have to do without. But you're in luck. They were having a sale. No. Oh, it can't be. It can't. Look, it stop. No, no. I'd rather have the accordion back. Please, stop. You think you can rob a bank and get away with it? When will you criminals learn that you are no match for ultra-powerful guy? <laughs> Once again, I have saved the day and brought justice to the world! Boy, ultra-powerful guy sure has a high opinion of himself. Garfield, could I have a potato chip? No. But I guess if you are uh, perfect and admired, it's hard to be humble. Here, have a potato chip. Thanks, Garfield. Aww. Hey, well, I don't need you.
your snacks. I'm so cute, I could get it on my own. This I gotta see. Meow? Are my eyes deceiving me, or is that the cutest kitty I ever saw? He's so adorable. Here, let's give him an entire pepperoni pizza with mushrooms and Canadian bacon. <laughs> Sorry, Garf. I don't have a slice to share. Well, if Ultra Powerful Guy came by, I bet you'd have a slice for him. Idea happening. Where's that long underwear of John's? <sighs> now I'm gonna need a towel and some boots. <laughs> Didn't know I was this handy, did you? Here you go, boy. A nice dish of sardines. Beware, evildoers. You thought you could get away with your evil doing, but you failed to reckon with the awesome might of ultra powerful guy. Wow. Citizen, have you seen any evildoers around here? I'm searching for the villainous Dr. Drastic. He's a master of disguise, and I have reason to believe he's currently made himself look like this. <gasps> but don't be afraid. He's only dangerous when he spreads around his disastrous Omega-3 explosive devices, which he makes to look like harmless but delicious sardines. <laughs> Great Scott, that diabolical villain. Fear not, citizen. Ultra-powerful guy is on the job. I shall dispose of these dangerous items. Up, Up and away! Hi, boy. How are those sardines? Odie, what's wrong? Odie, stop! It's me, John! John! Mmm. Oh, gosh. Wish I had a napkin. Oh, wait. I always wondered why superheroes needed capes. Now I know. <gasps> I wonder if there are any cat shows I could enter today, and of course, win. <laughs> Let's see, calculators, caterers, caterpillars. Ah, here we go, cat shows. Uh -huh. Two o'clock, I'll win it and be home by three. Hey, hey, it's stuck. Hey, I'm trapped in this phone booth! Help! I'm stuck in this phone booth! Help! This looks like a job for Ultra Powerful Guy. Here I come to save the day! Ouch! Ouch! You saved me! Who are you? <laughs> Don't you recognize me? Oh, I thought everyone knew Ultra Powerful Guy. What? I fly. I leap over tall buildings in a single bound. I eat, which reminds me, all of this superheroing stuff has made me work up an appetite. Could you show your appreciation by uh, kindly supplying my purpose? Sure. It's the least I could do for ultra powerful guy. Meow. <laughs> <laughs> What a cute cat. Here, take this plate of spaghetti and meatballs. Here you go, UPG. Thanks. <laughs> Do you mind? I'm trying to eat here. Oh, sorry. See you later, superhero. <laughs> <laughs> Now that's how you eat spaghetti, kids. None of this twirling on a fork jazz. You know what kind of dessert goes after spaghetti? Any kind of dessert. 
My, what an incredibly cute cat. Say, incredibly cute cat, have you seen two men around here? They're wanted criminals. Sorry, haven't seen anyone. Oh, this is great. I'll rescue Normal again and have his cute magic reward me with a couple of pies. Here we go. Hey, hey, slow down. I have to get to him before you. Citizen, look out. Ah! No! I'll protect you from that runaway dumpster. Whoa! Ow! Ouch! 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 Stop this thing! Ah! I'm telling you, Joe, this is the time to rob that bank. And I'm telling you, Mo, not with ultra powerful guy around. That guy's too. He's too. Ultra powerful? That's the word. He can do anything. Anything except stop a runaway trash dumpster. Apparently. No, no, help! That didn't look very ultra powerful to me. Me neither. <laughs> I'll bet Batman doesn't get banana pills in his mask. Hey, Mo, you see that? I see, I see. Ultra powerful guy without his mask. He's a. He's a. Cat! Kind of a fat one, too. Gotta hurry. I have dessert coming. <laughs> Just think. We know Ultra Powerful Guy's secret identity. And we know his weakness. He is a cat. Let us go rob ourselves a bank. Let us. It's real simple. I saved your life, I get a reward. Aren't superheroes supposed to fight for truth and justice? Yeah, we do all that stuff, but sometimes we also need pie. Now get on with it, banana cream with some chocolate sprinkles. All right, I'll put on my best banana cream pie with chocolate sprinkles cuteness. <clears throat> Meow. My goodness, I've never seen a cuter cat in all my life. Here's a chocolate cream pie with banana sprinkles. <laughs> <sighs> Close enough. Ooh. Wow, you're kind of a disappointment, ultra powerful guy. Not now. I have a pie. Oh, <laughs> gee. Ultra powerful guy wasn't that impressive. I wish I could have seen him do something really ultra powerful. Huh? Oh no, a bank robbery. What do we do? What do we do? I know. This looks like a job for Ultra Powerful Guy. Hey! But I keep telling you, I don't do bank robbers. You know what I'm good at. Get me another pie. You're a superhero. It's your duty to foil those nasty bank robbers. I, I don't suppose you guys would like to stop in the name of the law? It's Ultra Powerful Guy. <laughs> we ain't afraid of Ultra Powerful Guy. Because we know his secret, and that we can defeat him with this. What is that? You don't know what it is? It's a catnip mouse. Which is every cat's weakness. Doesn't do anything for me. Maybe if you had one stuck with lasagna. It ain't working. Yeah, let's get out of here with the loot. <laughs> <laughs> Great Scott, this looks like a job for... Ultra Powerful Guy. Huh? Hey, you closed the door in my case. What? Wait, stop! Cape Cod! Yoo-hoo! Whoa! Stop, please! Never once happened to Batman, trust me. Stop the car! Save a cat! Ah. End of the road for you three! Ah. Two! There are two of them! Honest, I'm just sort of a, a tag along or pull along. I don't count. What? Ah. Nice work, cat. Ah. 
If you hadn't delayed them, I never would have caught them. That was awesome, Ultra Powerful Guy. You are just amazing and... Hey, which one of you is Ultra Powerful Guy? I am. Oh, come on. Tell me, which one of you is Ultra Powerful Guy? I am. Guys, this is not fair. One of you is a real Ultra Powerful Guy. Which is it? I am. <laughs> come on, okay. Which one of you is the real Ultra Powerful Guy? I am. Oh, this is impossible. All right, guys. Last time, which one of you, real UPG, hit me? I am. in reality series. It's a sad reality the TV isn't what it used to be. Garfield, Odie! Don't watch too much TV. <laughs> it's bad for your eyes, you know. I'll blast you, you fiend. <laughs> okay, now pay attention, people, please. Make sure you use light whipping cream or else your cookie dough will be too thick. If the arguments in your house are getting out of hand, maybe you're just what we've been looking for. Learning is so much fun with Rob the Giant Chicken. Now sing along with me, A, B, C. You're all talk and no answer, Michael. I'm afraid you are the weakest brain. Goodbye. <laughs> Well, you'd think out of 758 channels, there'd be at least one decent show. Hmm, channel 145, Virtualodeon. Sounds like a lame sci-fi movie. Oh well, what the heck. Good evening. I am Professor Bonkers, and I want to welcome you to the beta testing of Virtual Audience, a groundbreaking invention of mine that will change the face of broadcasting television forever. <laughs> Thanks to the state-of-the-art holographic enhancer that's way too advanced for you to even comprehend, Virtual Audience will bring the characters of your favorite TV show right into your very own living room. And you probably need a pair of those silly 3D glasses. Absolutely not! Huh? That's the beauty of it! Virtual Audience requires no 3D glasses. Let's get cracking, shall we? Who hasn't dreamed of exploring the ocean depths without even getting wet? Uh, uh me. Huh? <laughs> wow, hurry, Odie, get me some tartar sauce. Ah! Don't worry, Odie, it's just an optical trick. It's not really... It's real! It's really real! <laughs> <laughs> Did you enjoy it? Good! That was only the beginning. Now! Has any one of you ever wanted to be on a quiz show? What's the capital of Bhutan? Who invented penicillin? How old is she? I'm afraid you are the weakest brain. Goodbye. This virtual pint tastes really nice. And now, for our younger audience, how about a little fairy tale? Are you sure this bean is really magic? Sure, kid. Trust me, you won't be disappointed. I've been had! That's just an ordinary bean! I have a bad feeling about this, Odie. 
Did you really think you could defeat me, wretched fool? <laughs> I love fairy tales. And now, can't you see I'm in the middle of a TV show? Uh, I'm sorry, sir, but there appears to be a slight problem with this program. The beanstalk is, um, no longer quite so virtual. And the network just got a call from a lady asking if the shark could please let go of her husband. Oh, dear. <clears throat> Due to some unforeseen problems, I am sorry to inform you that this program will be terminated in ten seconds. Ten. Nine. Wow, seems pretty solid, doesn't it, Odie? In the meantime, let me remind you that the network is not liable for any damages this program may have caused. I need some coffee. What's going on here? What's... This has Garfield written all over it. Garfield! Where are you, bad, bad cat? Uh, I think I'm inside the TV. Garfield, I know you're hiding here somewhere. Help! Huh. No sign of him down here. George Freak of Shampoo will leave your hair soft, silky, and manageable. Meow. Oh, and it will also make it clean. Stupid commercials. Meow, meow. Garfield is so gonna be grounded. No lasagna for a week. No, a year. Talk and no answer, Michael. <gasps> Odie, what's wrong? Quit barking at the TV. It's just a dumb program with Garfield in it. G -G Garfield? But, but that's impossible. Yeah. What are you doing in there? Huh? You want me to get the TV program? Okay, let's see. Channel 145, Virtual Odeon. Oh no, something must have gone terribly wrong and Garfield got sucked into the TV. I'd better call the network. I don't know what to do. Just hold on tight, Garfield, okay? As in boy and banana. M as in morning and mustard. And Z as in zip it, Birdie. Look, you've got to help. My cat was sucked into the TV because of your program. Ah, a most deplorable loss. And you gotta help me get him back! <sighs> I'll be there as soon as I can. Meanwhile, try to keep your cat on a safe program. Preferably something uplifting. He's on some educational show. He's learning the alphabet with Rob the Giant Yellow Chicken. Oh. You won't get away with this, Dr. Moore. <laughs> huh? Farewell, Agent 008. <laughs> Garfield! Someone switch to another channel. Hurry! No! I don't know what it is. Oh, this is pretty bad. Don't worry, Garfield. I found new batteries. Now, make sure you put loads of this yummy cheese between each lasagna layer. <sighs> oh, hello, kitty cat. That must be Professor Bonkers. Odie, don't touch the remote, okay? Now that the lasagna's ready, we can go to work on our lovely uh, Caesar salad. Oh, yummy. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> that oh, savage no. beast oh. just ate oh. my main course! Uh, Garfield! Take this! And this! You ravenous monster! Uh, guys, he's nastier than the alien! There. This should definitely be safe. Kiss me. Ugh, way too much lip gloss. Thanks to this turbo hollow extractor, I'll pull your cat out of there in no time. Now stay still for a minute, cat. Not an option right now. Kiss me. Kiss me. Kiss me. <laughs> oh, thank heavens, Garfield. You're back. Yeah. Seems like I made it in one piece. Hey, where do you think you're going? You're not going anywhere till you give me a proper kiss. <laughs> Oopsie doopsie. It seems that my extractor has accidentally left the gate open. Now sing along with me, or I'll lay an egg right here, right now. Kiss me. No one touches my lasagna till I say so. Oh, God. Don't kill me now. for my genius. It's here. It's here. Now sing along with me, or I'll lay an egg right here, right now. Don't you think that's enough TV for one day? Just about ready, Garfield. It's lasagna. Wow, lasagna. I haven't had any of that since uh, about four o'clock. Come on, Pookie, supper time. <laughs> don't worry. If you don't want yours, I'll eat it. <laughs> <laughs> One piping hot lasagna. Oh, yeah. I got it. I got it. You got it. Boy, I thought you couldn't look any cuter. But add marinara sauce, melted cheese to anything, and it looks better. Sorry, Garfield. I got your toy dirty. <gasps> Pookie is not a toy. Pookie is a best friend who just happens to be made of mostly cloth. Here, you got him messy, you clean it. Be 
better and be as fluffy and adorable as always. He'll be done any minute now. He's done. Here he is. What have you done to him? He looks like a porcupine watching a horror movie. Relax, Garfield. He just needs to be dried overnight. <laughs> Tomorrow morning, he'll be his old self again. Tomorrow morning? You're a big cat, Garfield. You can sleep without Pookie for one night. Nah. He's right. I can do without Pookie for one night. Boy, I hope he's okay out there. On the clothesline, I'm sure he's all right. What am I worried about? He's fine. <laughs> Come on, Oster. Let's bring Pookie in so he can have breakfast with us. He's gone! Pookie's gone! Pookie, where are you? Pookie, where are you? Don't worry, Pookie. I'll find you. Pookie's not in there. Pookie's not in there. Pookie's not down there. I'm sorry Pookie disappeared, Garfield. Well, you ought to be. When I saw he was missing, I ran out and bought you a new little friend. I hope you like him. Not as cute as Pookie. I thought you might not like that one, so I also got this one. Yeah. Looks too much like normal. Huh? One more. It's the latest thing. The Teddytron 2000, a fully robotic, state-of-the-art digital teddy bear. It's not as cute as Pookie. You can make it say whatever you want just by speaking into this microphone. Hello, Garfield. I want to be your friend. Hello, Garfield. I want to be your friend. And there are all sorts of other commands on the controller here. Hmm. Let's see what happens when I press walk. Still not as cute as Pookie. Let's see what happens when I press dance. Nope. Maybe this button that says cuddle. Hey, let me go. Let me see. Ouch. What are you doing? Hey, one of these commands has got to be uncuddled. This one says stop. Oh, wow. Pookie never did that to me. Oh, boy. Oh, you're back. Like I didn't have enough bad news. What's that, boy? 
You found Pookie? Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah. Well, don't just stand there slobbering. Take me to him. Shh. In here? <gasps> that, that, that Pookie napper? That mutt took my best friend. Aww. Okay, one of my best friends, and I'm gonna get him back. <laughs> you, that's, that's my Pookie you've, you've got, got there. there. I, I demand that you return him. Huh? Pookie is mine now! Mine! If that mutt thinks I'm giving up Pookie without a fight, he's got another thing coming. <sighs> this is called fishing for Pookie. I got a bite. Not a reeler in. Feels like Pookie's putting on a little weight. There you are, Pookie. Huh. Hello. Okay, all right. I'm trying something else. Maybe the old phony bush trick. <laughs> How much do you get for gardening work? Okay, I'm through being Mr. Nice Cat. I know how to get Pookie back. I need to find an old dress. I'm gonna find my baby. Who has him? Oh, there you are, Pookie. Well, what are you doing with that mangy dog? You should be with that nice Garfield where you belong. You're his mother? <laughs> of course I'm his m mother. Don't you see the family resemblance? I can get away with this because, as you may have noticed, dogs aren't too bright. <gasps> Uh, let me take you back to Garfield, little Pookie. I'm sorry. I didn't know he was your kid, lady. I just wanted a friend. I never had one. I'm supposed to be this real tough dog scaring everyone away. Well, that's the trouble. I scare everyone away. Huh? So long, Pookie. It was nice having a friend for a little while, even if I did have to steal you. You heard it too, huh? Yep, real sad. So I, I, I think we're gonna have to find him a friend. Yeah, it's great having you around. I never had anybody to talk to before. Boy, I used to not have one friend, and now I got three. Well, that worked out well. Can someone be friends with a useless creature that can't even think? Hey, you and I are pals, aren't we? Uh huh. Come on, Pookie. Let's go home and see if John has lunch ready. And if you don't want yours, I'll eat it. <laughs> <laughs> 